Thank you for your interest in our products, and welcome to our overview of the Advantage Series Remote Control Systems. There are essentially three different Advantage Remote Systems. The Advantage Remote, which provides on-off control. The Advantage Plus provides on-off control, a countdown timer, a clock, and also provides thermostatic temperature control. The Advantage Plus modulating control includes all the plus features and the ability to adjust the flame height and blower speeds. Both the Advantage and the Advantage Plus utilize a battery-powered receiver, while the modulating remote uses a 110-volt receiver. To begin, we must ensure that both the transmitter and receiver have power. The transmitter is the handheld component, while the receiver is the component usually located behind the lower louvers of a fireplace or mounted to the wall. The Advantage and Advantage Plus receiver require four AA batteries, while the transmitters require three AAA batteries. The low battery light will flash on the receiver and the low battery icon will flash on the LCD screen of the transmitter when the batteries require changing. To remove the batteries in the receiver, push on the battery compartment face and it will pop out. To access the battery compartment of the transmitter, slide the lower back of the transmitter off by pushing downwards on it with your thumbs. Replace the batteries ensuring the correct positive and negative positions. Batteries in the transmitter and receiver should be changed annually. With this cover removed, you can also access the dip switches and the childproof switch. The dip switches are used to set a privacy code. This may be necessary in locations where other remote control systems are found to interfere with the operation of your fireplace. To change the privacy code, remove the batteries or unplug the receiver and remove the batteries from the handheld. Change the position of the dip switches in the handheld, then restore power and replace the batteries to both devices. Ensuring that the receiver is in the remote position, stand within five feet of the receiver and press the on-off button on the handheld. The receiver will beep to acknowledge the programming is complete. If it fails to beep, remove the batteries or power source from both the transmitter and the receiver, then wait 60 seconds before repeating these steps. By turning on the childproof switch, all buttons are disabled. To restore function, reset the childproof switch to the off position or you can temporarily unlock the handheld with the following key presses up down down up down these remote systems have a built-in safety timer that will assume control of the fireplace after two hours of uninterrupted operation after two hours the remote receiver will begin to cycle the fireplace off for 30 minutes and then on for 20 minutes over a four-hour period. If there is no user intervention during this time, the remote will shut off the fireplace at the conclusion of the four-hour period. Simply press the on-off or auto button to reset this safety timer. The Advantage, Advantage Plus, and modulating remote controls allow the fireplace to be turned on by pressing the on-off button. The Advantage Plus and modulating models have an additional button auto on off. This controls the fireplace thermostatically based on a set temperature. All three models will display the room temperature but only the Advantage Plus and modulating remotes will allow the set temperature to be changed. To do this press the auto on off button then adjust the set temperature in accordance with your comfort level using the up and down arrow keys on the handheld. Additionally the Advantage Plus and modulating models also have a countdown timer, which can be used to operate the fireplace in the on or auto thermostatically controlled mode. It can be set by pressing the timer button, then the up or down button until the desired period of time is specified. This can range from one minute up to 120 minutes. The clock can be set by pressing and holding in the clock button for two seconds at which point all other data in the display will disappear and the hour display will flash. Press the up or down key to choose the hour, then press the clock button again to select the minute setting. Pressing the clock button a third time will allow you to change the temperature reading from Fahrenheit 
to Celsius. If you do not wish to change this setting, then press the clock button again to return to the full screen. Another version of this remote was used exclusively in our GD80 Madison gas fireplace. It offers all the previously described functions along with the ability to control the night light in that model. As such, the upper button does not turn the fireplace on or off, but instead controls the night light. This concludes our overview of the Advantage remote control systems. Thank you for watching.